Okay, so now looking at our next circuit, uh, this is the shunt feedback regulator. Um, again, we have some similarities happening here and we got some differences. Um, the key difference here, so as far as the sensing circuit is concerned, it's identical, right? Q2, we have the voltage divider sensing the voltage and Q2 um, is being biased stronger or lighter based on that. The key difference here is the situation where Q1 is. Okay, now because Q1 is not in the direct line for the current, right? So where the source is coming or the current's being drawn from the source, Q2 in this scenario is, is acting just as a variable resistor, okay? Which is very much similar to, um, or where it's labeled, right, RCE, right? Collector to, collector to emitter resistor. And you can see that because it's basically from here to here. So it's parallel to the load which is why we call it a shunt feedback regulator because it's parallel to the load, okay? And again, we're trying. what we're trying to do is still maintain uh, voltage ba right? based on the um, V equals IR relationship, just like in the um, past transistor one. So the way this works though, so let's just, again, we're gonna imagine this guy as just a variable resistor. So, so, so how it's done is we, we're ch we change him, his overall resistance based on what it senses, okay? So let's go through um, a scenario. So if the load resistor increases, the voltage across it or VL load will increase, right? So if you go up, it would go up. Now that voltage is sensed across this guy, right? Which increases the current, um, which increases the current across um, Q2, okay? So the voltage, increase in voltage, biases him more, increases the amount of current, which also, right, because we have that current will be equal at the base, which also increases his current here. If we increase, now remember, we have an inverse relationship here, okay? If we increase the current across the, um, this resistor, what we do is from here to here, right? What we're doing is we're biasing him um, more. So we're increasing the current, which means from here to here, its voltage drop goes down. So as far as what he represents as a resistor, right? Goes down, okay? Now what we have is, if you can imagine, if this guy was just a resistor in, so it, whatever his value was pri previously, the load resistor changed, increasing the voltage, right? And whatever he was previously, I uh, was sensed, he now changes and adjusts, right? And we have a resistor and a resistor in parallel. And remember, we always have um, smaller than the smallest. So what it essentially does is he goes down, bringing the resistance back to where it needs to go, okay? So if, he, if R initially increased, right? If R initially increased, the Q1 variable resistor adjust goes down, bringing the overall parallel back to where it is, maintaining our voltage. Notice that we're, 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 the big key difference is, is from the source's perspective, current is almost like the constant. And what we're doing is we're, 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 we're doing the same thing, maintaining voltage, but just, just playing with the resistance of the circuit. And vice versa, if the scenario where the load resistor were to, um, say, decrease, right? So the resistor went down, the voltage across it goes down, that's sensed here, that goes down, biasing him less here, so less current here, also less current here, this resistor goes up to compensate, okay? To bring resistance back total. Now, what we're doing is we're sensing total resistance in this circuit, okay? So bringing the overall resistance back up uh, to compensate. Um, it, uh, also, it's worth, worth noting that oftentimes these circuits also incorporate a um, current limiting, and it would look exactly like uh, the one we saw with the past transistor where we'd have um, kind of a, uh, a Q3 with an RS resistor here, and it would, it would basically, it would be used to, to basically uh, just... Uh, which point? So that have to be adjust Q2 to a certain value. And then that would change everything else. 
okay? So that is the shunt feedback um, regulator.